Hey boys and girls, today we're gonna learn how to draw Pete the Cat from Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses. We're gonna start out with our paper, um, not landscape mode, which is horizontal, but vertical like it is in this book here, which is portrait mode, because this is a portrait of Pete the Cat. And we want his face to be right here in the middle of the paper, just like it's in, um, there's area above and below, and Pete right here is in the middle of the page. And a simple trick to find the middle of the page is to take the top and fold it down to the bottom. Make sure those corners match. And then slide your finger up. Well, sometimes it gives you a little trouble. And then you just give it a little finger massage and crease it right there so that when you open it back up, you see the middle of your page is just right there. So we want to focus on keeping Pete, his head right there in the middle. So I'm going to grab my marker. You can use a pencil. I recommend so that you can erase, but I'm going to use a marker so you can see. I'm going to put three fingers from the edge of my paper, put a dot and do the same thing on the other side because that's how wide I want Pete to be. And I'm going to do curved lines right there. Okay, they're parallel, which means they are right next to each other. They're both going up and down, going vertically. Okay, now we need to do Pete's chin. So it's kind of like, if you look up here on this picture, it's a U shape. It kind of has a point down there at the bottom of the chin. So I'm gonna kind of do a U, but keep the bottom a little pointy. And I made a little mistake right there with my marker. If you have a pencil, you can erase that, but I'm just going to smooth it out by adding another line right next to it, making this a bolder or a thicker line, just like that. Because when I mess up an art, it actually happens a lot. I just roll with it. All right, now we're gonna do the triangle ears with a diagonal line going down from the top, down in towards the face, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna wanna connect those, the top of his head with an arch or a curve, just like that, okay? And if you need to pause, if I'm going too fast, feel free to do that, okay? We're gonna look back over here at Pete and we're gonna look at his nose. And his nose is kind of an upside down triangle, but it has this curved top right here that I'm drawing, little arch right above his chin. And then I'm gonna connect it with a V, so it kinda looks like a slice of pizza or an upside down triangle. And then we're gonna move on to his eyes. We're gonna start right here at the top corner of his nose. I'm gonna go up to that middle crease line and draw two dots above those corners to show me where the eyes will be so there's a little space between them. So I look right back here. He's got kind of a football shape with a little U at the top. It's kind of like a rainbow arch on the top. And I'm gonna do that over here. Remember a football, it's kind of like an oval with two pointy ends. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna connect from the bottom on both sides, on both eyes, just like that. And then we're gonna wanna add his, his uh, pupil up at the top where he's always looking up in his pictures. So I'm gonna do this little U shape on both sides like that. Then I'm gonna make it a little thicker, or again, the word there is bold. I'm gonna bold that line by drawing another line right next to it. There we go. And he's ready to be colored. Um, the, that little U will be white and then inside his eyes will be yellow. And then we're ready for his body. So I'm gonna just take a line. I'm gonna curve down on both sides. He's pretty small if you look back in the book that we read. We're just gonna take it all the way down to the edge of the paper. And there he is. He is ready for his whiskers, of course, because you can't have a cat without whiskers, which is just curved lines coming out of those points, his cheeks right there. I'm gonna do like three or four lines, and I like them all to be different sizes. They're not perfect. Everything is a little different. If you look at his picture, I'm gonna go back over some of these lines, make them smoother or a little bit more bold. And there he is, we're ready for his background. So I'm gonna start out by doing a sun up here in the corner, just like from our book. And if you want, you can use a cup or something if you want it to be a perfect circle. I'm not focusing on perfect. I'm just gonna do my best and draw a circle the best I can, just like that. And then we're gonna do his sun rays all the way around it. 
instead of just going off of the top right there, all the way around that circle. And the way we're gonna do this is if you look back in the book, um, James Dean did it with, he did a circle outline, and then he did these little rectangles for his sun rays. So we're gonna start um, on one, one side right here. I'm gonna draw a little rectangle. And then I go right over across from it, make one on the other side, and then I'm gonna go up to the top. It's almost like we're making like a plus sign or a T. Go down, make this rectangle, and then I'm gonna go and fill in all those spaces in between. So, right in the middle there, right in between these two sun rays, in between the next two, and then my last one will be up there in the corner and I'll probably just let it run off the page. Just like that. And remember in the story, he said that the sun was shining and the birds were singing. So we're gonna show some birds flying in the distance. And the way we're gonna do that is I'm gonna draw a V shape, kind of like a curve down and then a curve up, like a V that's wide. I do one that's a little bit smaller. And then one that's a little bit bigger to make it look like some of them, like the little one might be a little farther away. The bigger one might be closer to us. Now for this next part, we're going to show um, overlapping hills behind Pete in the distance. So I'm going to start them coming off the edge of the paper. If you have a pencil, I'll show you what it looks like when I draw it with a pencil. If you draw with a pencil, you can just start with however high you want it. I usually keep them underneath the whiskers. And I just go across his body and then take my eraser and go back and erase the part of the line that goes through Pete. But if you don't have a pencil and you're using a marker like I have been, you would just, I'm just gonna trace over this one real quick and I'll show you with the next line. We're gonna do a hill going the other direction to show one that's in the distance behind that one. And I'm gonna start at the front hill and I'm gonna stop when I get to Pete. I'm gonna lift my marker and kind of do an imaginary line floating over and then finish connecting it on the other side of him. See, so I didn't get any marks on the inside of Pete. And I'm ready to color this now. I'm ready to add some color, so I'm gonna speed up the camera and you can watch that go. Finishing touches, I'm gonna add Pete's slogan, I'm feeling all right, to remind me to stay positive. Thanks for drawing with me, you're all done. You can watch this video again and try again or teach a friend or a family member. Thank you so much for tuning in for a little bit of art with Miss Little and a little storytelling. Thanks boys and girls. Remember to keep creating, keep reading, and keep growing. Have a great day.